It's your favorite tech trainer, Bren Brewer, and today I'm going to show you this cool feature inside a command that you probably don't know about. So let's say you've got someone called you and they say, I want to buy a house. You go through the motions, you get them pre-approved, and they're talking to a lender, and they've told you all the things that they want in a house or their criteria. You know they want a three-bedroom, two-bath, and you know how big it, it needs to be. You know if they need a pool, that kind of thing. Well, first thing you need to do, you need to add them as a contact in command, right? Then the second thing you need to do is you need to go into that contact inside of command, click on saved searches and click on create saved search. Here we're going to search by a location. So I'm actually going to search by a zip code for right now because I know what zip code they want. Maximum price. You can select off any amenities that they might need. Choose property type. I know that they do not want any of these things, so I'm just going to click on that. It only do houses. In the listing status, I'm going to make sure that active and coming soon is selected. Three plus beds is selected. Two plus baths. Any year built. Any of that. Then I'm going to click next. If it has parking, I don't. my, my people don't care about those. So I'm going to click next. I'm going to save this as their personalized property search. And then I might just put, you know, what town it's in. Now here's where you have to toggle this little switch on where it says send email notifications. You have to click to turn that on and turn it green. And then you can choose if you want to send this instantly within 30 minutes of the listing coming on the market, daily, weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly. If this person is actively looking, they're pre-approved, you have a buyer rep agreement signed, you may want to do daily. If you are in a seller's market and houses are thin, slim pickings, you may want to do instant so they get it right away. But for the market that I'm in, we're going to do daily. Now, if they're not actively looking and they're doing in a couple months, you might want to say weekly. And if they're six months or more out, you want to do bi-weekly or monthly. So now once I've picked which email frequency I want to do, then I'm going to click on create saved search. And now you can see I have a saved search inside of the contact record and I can actually see that it is saved and it emails them this stuff. Let me go over to my email and now you can see it says Bryn Brewer shared a saved search. So I can look at what the email looks like. It's got all my information on it. View your saved search and this is what your clients will get. Take some straight look. It went straight to my website brenbrewer.kw.com. They're on my website. The houses are here. They can search for more houses if they want to. They can look at this view of houses. Anything they click on is going to also have my information on it. It's all going to be branded to me and I don't have to worry about them getting on another website and accidentally clicking this button to request a showing and another agent starts contacting them. All of this is going to come to me. So let me know how you like this feature. Set your buyers up on it today. I have most of my buyers on this right now. So let's go.